What's up, YouTube? I'm King Shanks, and this is Droid Finest, and I am back with Overlive Part 11. Let's get into this, because I still need to explore the rest of downtown. I only have 58 days left, so first things first, I'm going to train. Train in everything at least once. Do it. Okay. Do it. Okay. Do it. Okay. 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 Weight training. Do it. Okay. Build explosives. Okay. Water pump. Day 130. Your radio crackles to life. Classical music begins wafting through the speaker. It plays melanch a, a melancholy tune for a few moments, then a gravelly voice comes on the air. That was Chopin's funeral march. Going out to the boys in the ERF, we've got eyes on you. Wow. Wow. I love that, too. Funeral march? It's awesome. Okay, so I don't remember. That was... Okay, that was water pump. Mending. Okay. And there we go. That's good for now. Let me check my status is really quick. It's going up. Now I've got to continue to explore uh, downtown because I'm I'm thinking that downtown. Oh, and I found the highway. God. Oh man, I don't know. Should I try the marina? Should I? Hmm. Mm mm. I forgot that I got that. But I think the marina I can get out through there. I think I can obviously get out through the highway too. But. I don't know. I'm going to continue with downtown. I only have 49 days left. I don't know if I'm going to survive uh, this time or not. I hope I am. I'm trying to. Okay. So. Go to the one right underneath me. I'll move my face right here. Landmine. While exploding downtown, the downtown core, you step on something hard and hear a click. You look down at your foot and chills run up your spine. A landmine. Disarm it. Maintaining pressure with your foot, you slowly and carefully disarm the mine and collect the explosives. Nice. That's good. Okay. So I want to finish exploring here, dumpster, you come across an open, yeah, I want to finish exploring in here, and then either the highway or the marina is going to be my way out, I think I'm going to go for marina first, because, well, why not, um, and then I don't know, well, if I get out of the city this time, then I'm probably going to leave it to you guys to find the rest, I'll find them on my own, I know that, but, uh, I'll only record it this time. If I don't make it out, then I'll have to record it another time where I actually do make it out. But anyways, you come across an open dumpster and take a quick peek inside. It's full of rancid food, the maggot-infested remains of a family of dead raccoons. I'm disgusted, you're about to move on when you spot something in the corner. In the corner of a med kit poking out from beneath the trash. Get dirty. Uh-oh. is good. You decide not to let the med kit go to waste. You climb in into the, your dumpster. Cringing as you plunge your hand deep into the garbage, you grab the med kit as quickly, you grab the med quit kit and quickly get out of there. You feel something crawling on the back of your neck and brush off several, oh, brush several maggots out of your hair. hair. Ugh. Now that you think about it, you could probably find a lot of supplies in the trash like this all over the city. It may, it might be a good idea for your ability to spot things of value, but at what cost?
You spot a small, official looking sheet of paper fluttering underneath an uprooted street light. You pick it up to find it's a communique to members of the ERF. It reads, the improvised, vac uh, the improvised vaccination strain is ready to be administered at all of designated inoculation sites. Please advise all slavist personnel to proceed to the nearest site no later than 2200 hours. The ERF is vaccinating Slavis now? You thought they were your enemies. Huh. A place of healing. Ah. So that's another thing. In the distance, you see a large building that you recognize as the hospital. Most of the windows have been smashed, and there is an ominous sense that since the incident, it has been the site of more evil than good. Dark figures slowly move through the parking lot. Do you really want to go here? This is one of the first places to be overrun by the infection. Is there a way out of the city here? Good question. Okay. I have a bunch of options. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have 48 days, so whatever option I pick, I got to stick to it no matter what. I'm fine with that. A large horde. Uh-oh. You make your way across one of the larger downtown intersections. You stop dead in your tracks. Up ahead, a large horde of zombies is moving rapidly in your direction. Think fast. Charge. Take cover. Uh, I tried a trap before and it didn't work. Let's try it again. It worked! Cool! I don't have to fight! You quickly lay, you quickly lay out explosives on the road and run to cover. You watch as the zombies walk directly through the trap wire and set off a powerful blast. Bits of zombies rain down like snowflakes. Probably best not try catching any of them on your tongue, though. Yeah, I would think so. Corner store. <laughs> Twinkies. <laughs> oh, what is that? Is it Zombie Land? I think it is Zombie Land. Up ahead, you spot the corner store you used to buy snacks at during a lot of 30 minute lunch break you're allotted 30 minute lunch break you step inside to take a peek but it looks like it's been picked dry twinkies search anyway ha ha nice you do a quick search of the store for old time's sake although most of the food has been ransacked you do find a six pack of root beer in the freezer it's diet root beer, mind you, but beggars can't be choosers. True enough. All I ever drink is diet. Even right now, I'm drinking diet ginger ale. My stomach... I've told you guys this in a few of my latest videos. My stomach has been really messed up. I'm, I'm still waiting to go see my doctor about it. Because there was those days where I, everything I ate, I kept throwing it all up and... My stomach keeps making these weird sounds and getting all cramped up and I don't know what it is, but it's it's not feeling good, that's for sure. In the middle of the street up ahead, you spot an open manhole. Traveling through the sewers might be a good way to avoid confrontation. No way you're going in there without a flashlight, though. Well, I have a flashlight. Unfortunately, there are mobs of zombies lurking nearby. You don't want those things following you down and too many to take it on in combat. Sneak in. Ah, here we go. Maybe I'll find something down here. Waiting for the right opportunity, you cautiously sneak over to the manhole and slip inside undetected. Sewer acrobat. Acrobatics. You climb down into the sewer but and are greeted by a familiar sewer stench. Your flashlight reveals that the walkway up ahead has been washed away, so you're forced to shimmy along a rusty pipe, the ru the rusty pipe lines on the wall. That lines the wall, whatever. You have a few close, you have a few close calls, but eventually make it across. What if I stay in the sewer? If I stay in the sewer, wouldn't that help me avoid, um, the nuclear blast a little bit? Perhaps? It depends where it strikes, too. I don't know, maybe it's not safe in the sewer. Let's just keep moving. 
Flood control room. You keep moving through the sewer until you come across, till you come to a steel door marked flood control room. You crank the handle until the door slides open. Inside, you find a small room containing electronic instrument instrument panel and a grim a grimy plate glass window which looks out into total darkness. You try the controls, but they are fried. Repair. Try it. I did it. I fixed it. Good. Now what? Using the repair kit you found in Radio Shed, you eventually manage to rewire the instrument panel and the controls lighten up. You press a button lab labeled Drain and suddenly you hear a sound of rushing water. You realize that the reason you couldn't see anything through the room's window was that it was being obstructed by murky sewer water. Cool. As the water drains out, you're able to make out a corridor. Could it be the tram station? Maybe? I don't know. What the hell is a tram station? Okay, hold on. The flood tunnels dried. You are now able to walk through them. Near the ceiling in one of the flooded chambers, you spot a ventilation gate that looks to be loose. You stand on your tiptoes, and after a few minutes of wrangling, manage to rip it down. A small vent, but you think you can... S the the vent is small, but you think you can squeeze into it. You hoist yourself up and crawl inside. After several minutes of crawling in complete darkness, you reach another grate and push it open. You carefully climb out of the vent and find yourself in a dimly lit corridor. You're near the transit way entrance to the tram station. Why is it not called a train station? Why are they calling it a tram station? What the hell is a tram station? Okay, so this one's highlighted. Let's go. Railway system. This is another way out, probably. God. Okay, so there is a lot of options for me right now. Um, there's just a lot of options. I'm still gonna go for the marina. That's that was my main my main pick for this one. But man, if there's so many ways out, like, and there's there's eight endings to this game, eight different ways it can end. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. Using one of the paths you found. You emerge at street level transit way boarding area. The place is jammed with the burned with the burned out flames of city buses. From the looks of it, there are more than a few charred corpses inside. You keep moving until you come to the stairs leading down to the tram station. Its electronic sign flickers ominously, and the glass doors at the entrance have been shattered. You have no idea what you're going to find in there, but it may be your only way out of the city. So I can use the railway system. Oh, I can, oh man, there's so many ways out. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. What do I do? Okay, it's fine. I haven't lost very much life in this in this one. So, mystery lockbox. What's that? The flood waters receded. You notice a removable plate on the bottom of the flooded chamber. You use a dime to unscrew it and reach inside and find a heavy lockbox. A handwritten note taped to the lid set reads, Patience is its own reward. Weird. You decide to haul it back to your apartment and tackle it there. So it's in my apartment now. Get it together, Shane. <laughs> Shane, walking dead. He's dead. He's been dead for a long time now. On the street up ahead, you spot a ferocious pack of zombies shrouding a corpse splattered onto the pavement. It's clear from the body's twisted limbs he jumped from the top of one of the skyscrapers nearby. You notice you see nothing of value here, and the battle would be intense. Are you sure you want to proceed? Investigate. Oh, holy shit. wasn't that intense. I mean, it was kind of intense, but just because it was a big swarm, but it wasn't too bad. Could have been worse, and hopefully I get a good weapon out of this. No? Nothing? Fuck. You approach the body and search its pockets, recovering a well-worn Kurt Vernier novel and an MP3 player full of 
pretentious indie rock, and a smartphone with a ridiculous amount, amount of unanswered text messages, a writer, no doubt about it. You scan the text and find many from a particular client, nagging the poor author to meet his deadlines for a zombie survival role-playing game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Guess he couldn't take the pressure. Uh, does that relate to who made this game, I think? Maybe? Uh, maybe in a little little bit of a, of a way there. Okay, so, moving along. I'm just going to go until it tells me I have to go home like I did in basically every other one. Fat cat zombies. On a street corner up ahead, you spot three obese zombies all dressed in high-end business attire. CEOs, no doubt. When you worked downtown, you always dreamed about kicking some fat cat at... <laughs> Fat cat, fat cat ass. Now here's your chance. Headshots. Always the headshots. You fire three quick rounds, bringing the overfed executives to the ground with loud thuds. You search their pockets and inside pockets, but aside from their luxurious leather wallets, find only a few half-eaten candy bars. As a symbolic gesture, you scarf down one of the candy bars and then clean your teeth with a gold card. <laughs> nice. Okay, so now I'm going home, and that's the end of another day. I'm gonna have to come back here for one more day, I think. There's one shining there. So, stay home. I'll come back here for one more day in the next episode. So stay tuned, and I'll see you soon. Peace!